Hello friends, welcome back to English Classes Online. My name is Benjamin. Today's video is on 10 types of subordinating conjunctions and how to use them. If you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. Make sure you click on the bell icon as well so that whenever a new video is uploaded on this channel, you'll be notified instantly. In the description box below, you will find a free PDF file that explains uh, English grammar. It is free of charge, so you can click on the link and download a copy for yourself. You will also find my ebook uh, titled Good Success in English. It is a complete study package for effective English learning. So if you are interested in learning, all the various areas of uh, proficiency in English, uh, writing skills, comprehension, summary writing, lexis and structure, units of grammar, which include the morpheme, the word, the phrases, the clauses, the sentences, then other aspects of English learning, such as spelling rules, uh, punctuation, marks, and different aspects of oral English, vowel and consonant sounds, uh, stress patterns, intonation, you know, name it, and also uh, past English, past questions and answers. All these are included in this uh, in, uh, study package. It's a complete study package for effective English learning. So if you are interested in it uh, as an English learner or as someone preparing for your English exams, just click on the link and you'll be taken to the book page where you can grab a copy for yourself. Having said this, let's dive into the lesson right away. What is the subordinating conjunction? A subordinating conjunction is a word or phrase used in joining a subordinate clause to a main clause in a complex sentence. You know, a subordinating conjunction is usually used to introduce a subordinate clause. For example, in the sentence, I didn't attend the meeting because I had a fever. The, subord the subordinate clause is because I had a fever. And the word because is the subordinating conjunction that introduces that clause, because I had a fever. So we are going to look at 10 different types of subordinating conjunctions and examples of how to use them. Now let's look at the subordinating conjunctions at a glance. Number one, time. I mean the subordinating conjunction of time, of reason or clause, of purpose, of condition, all right, of place, of result, of con concession, of manner or degree, of comparison and of opposition. So we are going to look at this one by one, starting with the subordinating conjunction of time. It indicates time, the time of an action. Examples are as follows before, that's one uh, conjunction of time. For example, Mary swept the house before she went to school. So before it tells us the time of her sweeping the house. Another example is after, Mark traveled to the UK after he had completed his secondary education. The next one is Wayne. Ayo was traveling to his village when he had an accident. The next one is while. Uh, it's used when two actions take place simultaneously. The boys were working on the farm while the girls were cooking in the kitchen. Then the next one is noun that, all right? Noun that 
you live close to the office, you have no excuse for coming late. Okay? Now, the next is the subordinating conjunction of reason or cause. Examples, because Mr. Williams couldn't attend the board meeting because he had an appointment with the governor. So the conjunction here is because. The next one is since. The principal pardoned the erring students since they had apologized for their misconduct. The next one is as. I couldn't speak with him on the phone as the network was acting up. Next, we have four. Junior should be given admission to the university for he has met all the admission requirements. Next, we have purpose. Examples, the first one is that. We eat that we may live, that we may live, all right? The next is so that they lock the gate every night so that thieves could not enter the purpose. I, I mean, so that the thieves could not enter the compound. Now, what I mean to say is that so that indicates the purpose. You know, they locked the gate every night. For what purpose? So that thieves could not enter the compound. The next one is uh, the word lest. Look at it here, lest. Uncle Joe left very early in the morning, lest he should miss his flight to London, lest. I, mean, I took my umbrella in case it rained. The, the subordinating conjunction here is in case. Now the next uh, type of subordinating conjunction is that of condition. It indicates the condition for something to happen. For example, if, if it rains, we won't go to the farm, if it rains. The next is unless, you won't succeed unless you work hard, unless you work hard. The next one is provided that you will be given admission to the school provided that you meet all the requirements. So these are all subordinating conjunctions of condition. Next, we have the subordinating conjunction of place. It indicates the place of an event or the place where an action takes uh, place or occurs. The first one is where. Mommy hid, his uh, mommy hid her purse where Jack couldn't see it. That's the place where she hid it, where Jack couldn't see it. The next one is wherever the new secretary accompanies the director wherever he goes wherever he goes, that's the place. Next, the subordinating conjunction of result, it indicates the result or the effect of previous action. First, we have so that. Henry ran so fast that he won a gold medal at the Olympics. All right, next we have, uh, we have so that, which also, here we have ellipses after so. So we have a three ellipses, all right? But here we have so that. I want you to understand, here you see Harry, Harry ran so fast, then something comes between so and that. But in this one, we have so that coming together. You need to speak loudly so that the audience can hear you clearly. So you can see. Uh, the difference between the two. Next, we have concession, the subordinating conjunction of concession. Examples, though something was morally weak, though physically strong. So you use concession, the subordinating conjunction of concession to, uh, I mean, e express two contrasting ideas, two opposite ideas. Now, something was morally weak, though physically strong. So morally weak is the opposite of physically strong. So you use the subordinating conjunction of concession to, you know, 
put these two opposing ideas to join them together, morally weak, though physically strong. Then the next we have, although, although he has built his own house, he still lives in a rented apartment. The next is, even if, even if I will go to school today, even if it rains, so you can see two contrasting ideas. Next, we have the subordinating conjunction of manner or degree. Example, as though the woman boasted as though she were the queen of England, as though that's the manner in which she boasted. She, you would think she was the queen of England. Then the next as John did not perform so well as his twin brother, as his twin brother. So well as, all right? Then you have another instance of as. Noah constructed the ark exactly as the Lord had instructed him. That is in the manner in which he had been instructed by the Lord. Next, we have comparison. The subordinating conjunction of comparison enables us to compare two persons or two things to, uh, uh, with each other. First, we have as. Maria is not as tall as Esther. As is not as tall as Esther. Then next we have Dan. Esther is taller than Maria. So you see the, uh, this kind of conjunction enabling us to compare. Next we have a position. This is the last but not the least. This one enables us to juxtapose two uh, things that refer uh, to each other, all right? Okay, so let's look at it. And we have that as, you know, this conjunction that does the work of a position. For example, I don't subscribe to the theory that love is blind. Now, the theory is one. Love is blind is another. And then the subordinating conjunction of our position enables us to join these two together. Now, one refers to the other. Okay, if you say, I don't subscribe to the theory, what is the theory that love is blind? So love is blind is the theory, all right? I don't subscribe to the theory that love is blind. Let's see another example. We were shocked to hear the news. What is the news? That the president had died. All right, so the news is that the president has died. So we, we use the subordinating conjunction of our position to join these two things together. One explains the other. Now, if you say, I don't subscribe to the theory, you need to explain what the theory is all about, that love is blind. Now, if you say we well, were shocked to hear the news, to explain what the news is about, you use the uh, subordinating conjunction of our position to introduce that idea. So we were shocked to hear the news that the president had died. So these are the various subordinating conjunctions and we have gone through them. I hope you learned them. We have looked at them, look at them at a glance, 10 types of subordinating conjunctions, all right? We looked at them, time, reason or cause, purpose, condition, place, result, concession, manner or degree, comparison and opposition. I hope you learned them and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, like the video and share it with your friends and relations. If you have not subscribed to the video, this is the time to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you click also on the bell icon so that whenever a new video goes live on this channel, you will be instantly notified. I want to say a big thank you to all of you for being part of today's episode. Don't forget that I have a complete ebook, a complete study package for effective English learning. The title is Good Success in English. Check for this book, very, very important book for every English learner. You will find the book in the description section below. Click on it, and then you will be taken to the book
page where you can download a copy for yourself. Make sure you get a copy of this book. It will help you tremendously in your desire to achieve proficiency in the use of English. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye-bye for now and remain blessed.